El Centro Shore Helpline Educator Adelaida Ibarra says what a person chooses to wear is not an invitation for violence. No matter what you're wearing, it doesn't consent sexual assault. To make that point, Denim Day this Friday will bring awareness to victims of sexual violence. Brawley police will wear denim as a symbol of their support. It's important that victims know also that we support them. We understand that they went through a traumatic thing uh, and that we don't discount our victims ever. And this, this Denim Day is a way for us to recognize and give awareness that there are sexual violent victims out there. Denim Day began in the 90s when a young woman in Italy was blamed for a sexual assault. The courts ruled the attacker was not to blame, but it was her jeans. The next day, women in Parliament came to work wearing jeans in support of the victim. Although it happened on another continent, Hauser said stopping sexual violence should be a focus everywhere. It's a crime that doesn't know borders. Ibarra says victims have started to come forward more often. More people are talking about it. They're able to come to our office as a walking and be able to talk to somebody, or either they can do it on the phone. She attributes that to community awareness activities. Last year, it was 16 victims that we serve, and for this beginning of the year, it's almost 13 victims. Hauser says they are ready to help victims, but to do that, victims have to seek help first. We're here for you. We want you to, to come forward. Let us... Um, fulfill justice the way the law lets us do that. Everyone can join in on Denim Day, whether at work or home, wear jeans, take a picture, and send it to the Crisis Center website. Uh, kind of a fashion statement for awareness. In Imperial Valley, I'm Roy Durantes.